She recently broke the world record in the 100 meter backstroke and became the first Canadian female swimmer to win a world title. Please welcome the super awesome Kylie Moss, super champ. Let's talk about this. Like, you're floating right now because it's been a few weeks, but does it still, when you look back at that, does it seem like yesterday? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been a whirlwind. Definitely been a whirlwind, but um, a moment I'll remember for the rest of my life. I'll say, you dug really deep to pull out your best time ever. I just asked you, not only competitively, but in terms of your practice time, that was your best time ever. Mm -hmm. How did you get yourself mentally and physically there? Yeah, um, I think it takes a lot of, um, I know, mental strength just to kind of um, put the, the training and the mental side aside from it and um, just really focus on what you've been doing the whole year and, and keep um, trying to execute the, the best performance you can on that day. And because it is the backstroke, take us through what you see. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know what's going on until it's done. So how yeah. do you know, first of all, when you've reached the end of the, the pool? Yeah, so there's flags at the, at the top and they're five meters from the wall. So I know that once I see the flags and I'm on my back, I can take four strokes and I'll hit the wall. Okay, so to get that time, you had to do the one lap. Turn and then go back. So at what point did you realize it was you who won? Uh, at the finish. I knew at the turn that I was close to the two girls beside me. Um, there's a big scoreboard on the opposite end of the pool that I could see, um, kind of, but um, I knew it was going to be close. So I really just tried to focus the last 50 and uh, push as hard as I could. Not only did you win gold, but then, like, top spot, but then you broke the record. I think it's been eight years since anybody made your mm -hmm. time. How did that feel, to do that well? Yeah. Um, it was incredible, honestly. It was, um, yeah, I had to keep looking back at the clock to check. Um, and I was like, I was like, oh my God, I did it. But um, just so excited. And I like hugged the two girls beside me, the competitors. And um, yeah, it was, it was really fun. <laughs> and then there was a LaSalle Day in your honor, yes. which is amazing. How did the Olympics last summer prepare you? I know you said it did a lot for your confidence. Mm -hmm. How so? Yeah, um, I think it really just helped me. Uh, it, it showed me that I can race on that international level. and. Um, I belong there and I can race the best in the world and um, it really just gave me more confidence in, in my training and to really just trust in the process and, and my coaches. And you're only 21 and you know at the Olympics you tied for bronze, mm -hmm. right? So that prepared you for what it feels like to get podium level. Mm -hmm. What's next for you going forward? Yeah, um, the swimming world is always getting faster and faster so um, I definitely want to keep improving and try and you know knock that time down faster and faster. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting back into the pool and uh, Training hard. <laughs> Speaking of, you give a lot of props and credit, as you should, right, to your coaches. Mm -hmm. So who do you owe all of this to? Yeah, there's been a number of people that have helped me get to where I am, but um, definitely my coaches at U of T, Byron and Linda, and all the support staff there, and um, even my coaches from growing up in club swimming. I think I, I left Windsor with a great technical foundation of swimming, and then yeah. um, it just improved greatly as I got to Toronto. This is so fitting because we're talking about back to school jitters and here you are on such a huge scale dealing with those jitters. What advice do you give to people if you're scared to do anything but you want to take on something super challenging? How do you push past your nerves? Yeah, um, I think just uh, try and find something positive in it and really just have fun with it and, and enjoy the experience. And, uh, and do the best that you can yeah. do. Exactly. And you do us so proud. You represent you. our country beautifully. We can't wait to see what comes next for you. Thank you Thank so much you. for taking the time. Thank and you. we can follow you on Twitter at yes. K, K J Moss. M A S S E. Thank you so much. Thank you.